Hey guys, it's Sona. Welcome back to my channel. So around like a day or two ago, I made a video um, that blew up and it was basically me calling out some very popular Roblox YouTubers who, to put it lightly, weren't doing the best thing. The three main YouTubers that I called out in my video were Lankybox, Gaming with Kev, and Rovi23 along with a few others. But those were the main three people that I called out in my video, all of them being relatively big Roblox YouTubers who basically just do gameplays and things like that. The last three YouTubers that I called out, Gaming with Kev, Roby23, and Furious Jumper, were all mainly called out for stealing thumbnail ideas or just straight up copying videos or even going as so far as to copy and paste other people's literal artwork that they were paid to do and put it onto their own thumbnails without permission, obviously. Majority of people were very understanding of these three YouTubers being called out as it wouldn't really take too many brain cells to guess why that's wrong. Stealing art is never okay and I'm sure everyone kind of understands understand why that's wrong. On the other hand though, there is one YouTuber who was also the first person that I called out in the beginning of my video who a lot of people really didn't agree with being called out apparently. So the person that I called out that people are really mad about is Lankybox a relatively large Roblox YouTuber with like, I think nearly 6 million subscribers now, who gets millions of views on their videos and they're just overall very popular and well known. In my video, I basically called out Linkybox for copying and stealing other Roblox YouTubers ideas with there being examples of them literally like straight up copying the title just with a few more keywords, the thumbnails also looking very similar and overall just copying other YouTubers original video ideas in general. Also, without giving any credit in the description or any reference to the original uploaders of the idea whatsoever, which is very scummy and rude. I also explained in my video that being heavily inspired and blatant copying is very different. You can be inspired by someone's video and make something similar to it while also adding your own twist without copying the entire idea directly, but instead Linkybox doesn't do that, they just decide, hey, let's just copy this video idea and not give any credit or reference to the original creator whatsoever because who cares, right? And I also explained in my video how there is no way that these are coincidences as, as I said earlier, the titles are literally the exact same and again the thumbnails are relatively similar as well. So you literally cannot call this a coincidence. They know what they're doing but you know apparently not everyone agrees with that because on my video as I am recording this I literally have 3,000 dislikes and hundreds upon hundreds of angry hate comments from Linkybox fans. So when I said in my video that I was throwing myself into a dumpster fire, I guess I was right. Right, because this is definitely a dumpster fire. No, but on a more serious note, I am going to be addressing some of the general comments that I have been seeing in my comment section of angry people, and I am going to be explaining some things more thoroughly than I did in my last video, because while I still do fully 100% stand with the points that I made in my video, I can explain them to simplify them more because I know a lot of Linkybox's fans are pretty young, and I understand why some of you may not fully understand what I meant in my video, so I am going to be addressing certain comments that I keep getting. I will not be responding to hate comments merely harassing me or calling me names and stuff like that because that's just pointless and it would also be immature of me so I'm not going to do that. However, I am going to be responding to comments with a general point and comments that are written out that look like they generally uh, are misunderstanding where I'm trying to get at in my video. I hopefully can actually get some people to understand where I'm coming from and why what Lankybox did is wrong. I will not be showing comments directly like actually screenshots or anything like that in this video simply because I don't want those people who wrote those comments to get harassed or anything like that. I don't want people to go witch hunt anyone that makes these kind of comments that's pointless and that's still not okay. So yeah anyways enough rambling let's get started. So right off the bat the first thing that I do want to mention is that I am seeing a lot of people in the comments section of my video who are fans of me and Linkybox or just a fan of Linkybox saying that they feel like because I called them out they are not allowed to watch Linkybox anymore or in general, they're just saying that they feel bad, that they support Linkybox, and they feel like it's wrong to do that. And I'm just gonna say right now, guys, that was definitely not the point of my video at all. I never told anyone once in my video that you can't support Linkybox after this, or that it's wrong to support them. I never said that. I even explained in the beginning of my video that you are free to support these YouTubers all you want. You can still like them, you can still watch them. Literally do whatever you want, dude. I just said that even if you do support these people, it's still good to acknowledge their wrongdoings. And yeah, that was basically the point of my video. While I was doing research, I actually watched a few of Linkybox's videos 
and even though they're not exactly my cup of tea, I can completely see why people enjoy watching their videos. I can see why kids like their videos, you know, they're pretty funny. I never said their videos were bad, I never said they were bad people, I'm just saying what they're doing is bad. You know, for all I know, they could be very nice people in real life, who knows, but it still doesn't excuse what they're doing and the fact that it's wrong. But in the end, that doesn't mean that I want you to pick a side, you know, I'm not telling you, hey, if you're subscribed to Linky Box, then you have to unsubscribe from me, or hey, uh, if you support me, then you can't support Linky Box. I have never said that, and I never will say that. Because in reality, you can like whatever content creator you want, and if watching them makes you happy, that's great, and I'm happy for you. I just want everyone to understand that what they did is still wrong, and I really hope that they improve. So yeah, if you like Linky Box, I have nothing against you, that's completely fine. So please don't feel bad for supporting them, okay? Just watch the content creators that you enjoy watching. So even if you like them, just please understand what they did is wrong. Okay, now that that point's out of the way, I'm going to be moving on to probably the biggest thing that I am seeing people talk about in my comment section. So in my comment section, it seems like a lot of people are bringing up the fact that majority of the examples that I used of Linky Box copying other YouTubers' ideas, the videos were quote unquote challenge videos. And basically what people are saying is that if Linky Box makes a video with a video idea that someone else originally made as a challenge video, then it's 100% okay for them to do that because there are also other YouTubers in the Roblox community who do the exact same thing. Okay, so at first, to an extent, I kind of understand why some people may think this way. Because challenge videos are basically trendy videos that a lot of people do. But one thing that you really need to understand is that just because someone puts challenge in the title, it doesn't mean that their video is invincible. Just because the word challenge is in the title doesn't mean that you automatically don't have to give credit to the original person who originally made the idea. Especially if you're profiting off of it directly. And of course, it's not just Linky Box that does this. There's so many other YouTubers that do this too. I never said that there wasn't. There are so many people that steal video ideas with no credit whatsoever and profit off of them and get away with it. And how do you think that makes the person who made the original idea feel? It'd make them feel like crap, right? I know a lot of people who don't understand this are young, so imagine you're in school, okay? Imagine you're in school and you have to come up with this big project to get a really good grade and you have to come up with your own idea, no help or anything, and you base your project off of something really cool and really original and you end up being very proud of it and you end up getting a pretty good grade on it, but then someone sees that your project did really good. They decide to take the idea that you came up with, make the exact same thing, they add just a tiny bit more to it to get a better grade, and then they show it to the teacher. The teacher says, oh wow, that's cool, and they give them a better grade than you, even though they basically just copied you and changed it up very slightly. And then since a bunch of other people seeing that your project idea did very well and got a really good grade, a bunch of other people start copying you and getting way better grades than you. Honestly, think to yourself, how would that make you feel? Well, that should be treated no different from this. Even though they're not directly the same thing, I just think that it's incredibly sad and disappointing that people get really, really angry at someone copying someone else's thumbnail or art in general and just passing it off as their own idea. But when it comes to a video idea that someone originally came up with and spent hours trying to think of this idea and just overall worked very hard on it and was very proud of it and passionate about it, when their idea gets stolen and used for profit with no credit whatsoever, no one bats an eye. Both artwork and video ideas are both forms of creativity that an individual makes. It takes a long time to do, it takes effort, it takes passion, and in general, they're both something that you work very hard on. Now please tell me why we think stealing one of them is fine, but not the other. And you need to keep in mind that I am speaking on this from both sides. I am both an artist and a video creator, so I literally understand both of these. And it makes me really sad that not everyone understands this. This is a huge problem that we have in the YouTube community, and it's just ignored and put off as, well, it's okay because it's just a video idea, it's not like a drawing or something. It's not just a video idea. Like I said, it takes effort, it takes time, it takes passion. Why are we acting like this should be treated any differently? Please at least try to understand where I'm coming from here. And listen, okay, I know that it may be a little bit harder to understand if you're not a content creator and you don't have to deal with this stuff, you know, you don't have to come with, up with all these ideas and you don't have to spend hours trying to think of something that people will enjoy and that's original. But that's why I'm telling you to at least try to put yourself in the shoes of a content creator. We spend hours and hours trying to come up with original ideas. We work hard on them and we're proud of them, so why is everyone okay with it when an idea gets stolen? I just really want people to understand this because so many people don't and it's such a big issue. <sighs> Sorry, I rambled a lot about this. I just, I just really, really want you guys to understand 
understand why it's wrong. And like I said earlier, I know Lanky Box isn't the only people that do this. There are so many other people in the community that do this exact same thing, which is also still very scummy and is still wrong and doesn't make it okay. But I chose to talk about Lanky Box in my video because they never get called out for it. They have a lot of success from doing it, and they're basically the biggest example that I could find. And you know, even though a lot of the examples that I used were challenge videos, even if you still don't agree with what I'm saying about those, there are still more than plenty of other examples of regular videos that are not challenge videos, which are just so extremely specific with the titles and everything that you can't tell me that this is a coincidence. Like, with how similar these are and everything, you literally cannot tell me that this was not copied, okay? You can't tell me that this was not intentional. It was. Linkybox knows exactly what they're doing, and you cannot convince me otherwise. So yeah, that was like... The biggest point, I think, I'm sorry that took so long for me to explain, like I said, I wanted to explain it as thoroughly as possible because I really just want to get it through people's heads how wrong this is. Because judging by the comments and the amount of dislikes on my video, I can see that a lot of kids and just Linky Box fans in general really didn't get my points. And I really hope that this at least helped some people realize why what they're doing is wrong. And if you still don't understand, I'm sorry, but I literally explained it the best way that I could in my opinion. Anyways, so I think the last thing that I'm gonna be talking about is the tons and tons of people saying that Linky Box isn't copying and that they are merely inspired by other people's videos. And because of that, it's justified in their opinion. So real quick, I'm gonna explain to you the difference between being heavily inspired and plagiarism. When someone is inspired by someone else's idea, they create something, whether it be art or videos or just anything, and in their own creation, since they are inspired by someone else's work or idea, they put a little bit of that into their own idea, creating something that is still their own creation, but still has a little bit of inspiration that was taken from something else, which is completely fine. And if your creation is heavily inspired by something, it's always good to give credit to what gave you inspiration. As since it is heavily inspired, to the point where it's really visible, it's really good to give credit where you got that inspiration from, because it makes up like half half or maybe a little bit more of your creation or more, who knows. But in general, if something is inspired, it has a little bit of someone's idea sprinkled in there. If it's heavily inspired, it has a lot of their idea in there to where you should probably give credit to that. But in general, it still has a good amount of your own creativity inside it, so it's not copying. On the other hand though, plagiarism is much different. Plagiarism is where you take someone's idea or work and pass it off as your own. And since you're passing it off as your own, that means you're not giving credit to the original idea, which is obviously bad. And that's where Lanky Box comes in. If Lanky Box were to be a little bit inspired by something, they would create their own thing and sprinkle a little bit of the other person's idea into it, which is fine. If Lanky Box was heavily inspired, they would create something but create it with quite a bit of someone else's idea added into it, to the point where it's pretty visible where they got the inspiration from, and even though it wouldn't be completely copied, at that point it would still be very important to give credit, as again, a lot of someone else's original idea is still mixed into their own creation, which again, it's completely fine to be heavily inspired by something as long as you give credit. Now let's move on to plagiarism. If Linky Box were to plagiarize someone's idea, they would directly go to someone's video, decide that they want to use that person's original video idea, revolve their video around that exact same idea with very minor differences, and since they would be passing it off as their own idea, they would not give credit to the person who originally came up with that idea. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, that sounds and looks like exactly what Linkybox does. And again, you cannot tell me that any of these right here are a coincidence, because again, the titles are exactly the same, no one cares if you put one or two extra words, it's still the same, the thumbnails are extremely similar, and it's based off of the exact same idea, with again, giving no credit to the original person who made that idea whatsoever. That is literally plagiarism. So my point still stands, they are still copying these other YouTubers' videos and profiting off of other people's ideas with giving no credit whatsoever, and you cannot convince me otherwise. And even if you still think their videos are just heavily inspired and not plagiarism, I just want to let you know that when your creation is heavily inspired by something, it is very important to give credit to the person that you got that inspiration from. Especially if you have 6 million subscribers, you get millions of views on your videos, and you heavily profit off of it. And if you don't think that's a scummy thing to do, then 
and I honestly don't know what to tell you at this point. Because with how much that I explained all of my points in this video as to why what they are doing is wrong, if you still don't agree with any of my points, and you are denying the fact that it's wrong and you think it's completely okay, after all of this, I'm honestly just gonna assume that you just want to defend them because they're your favorite YouTuber or something. You need to understand your favorite YouTuber isn't a perfect person, no one is a perfect person, they are so fully capable of doing wrong things, and this is what Linky Box has done. Again, they can be great people in real life, they can do great things, but they can also do bad things. And I am merely just calling them out for one of the bad things that they have been doing. And if you still don't agree with me, or the points I made, I seriously hope that you understand in the future, because it's very clear that you are young and you do not understand why this is wrong. This is also a problem not only because they steal people's ideas, but also because Linky Box has a very young, impressionable fan base, and by them stealing people's video ideas and not giving credit, this could also be telling their fan base that this is okay to do as well, which is also not good. <sighs> so yeah, that's my video, I guess. I think I went over every point that I wanted to go over. If I didn't, oh well. I am very tired about talking about this now, and I hope that I don't have to talk about this again. And real quick, I'm just letting you guys know that I will not be making another video on this unless something seriously bad happens, or I find out about something that is way worse. But in the end, to be honest, I'm really, really tired about talking about this. I originally wasn't even going to make a follow-up video, but seeing how many dislikes and hate comments I got on my last video, I thought it was pretty necessary. But yeah, um, hopefully I don't have to talk about this again. And remember that if you support Linky Vox, you are 100% fine. That is completely okay. Just please, I ask you to also acknowledge their wrongdoings at the same time, but you can still support them and watch them. There is nothing wrong with that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments. I'd like to know your opinions and thoughts. And uh, if you like this video, it would be really cool if you subscribed because we just hit 350k, so we are very close to 400k, which is pretty exciting. And as always, if you agree with this video, be sure to like it so that more people see it and are aware about this situation. And as always, thank you so much to my patrons, Tofan, Solar Swag, Skylar B. Roo, Christmas Wolby, Joseph Plays Official, Sipped Off Draws, Auburn B, Lucas, Little Shadow, Pristine, Quack, Noki, Sid Explosive Diarrhea, Warm Freeze, and Silla Citizen, and Stork. Thank you guys so much for the support, it means so much to me. And with that, I see you all next video. Bye!